Live from Shadowmere Studios, it's Talkie Box. Please enjoy responsibly. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, you're right. That wasn't good. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. that's important. You came up with it. To yeah, enjoy I know. responsibly. Yeah. I just threw a whole bunch of words at a piece of paper, and I'm like, pick at random. Yep. Here are, yeah. here We're are, getting down to the, to the bottom of the list. All right, well, then I'll write slogans. more. That's fine. Slogans. Uh, slogans are fun. Slogans from other companies that we are using. Oh, yeah. I'm stealing the shit out of these. Yep. I think, I think I think most of these are dead slogans though now. Well, enjoy responsibly I think is just a universal don't get drunk and drive. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much. So if you're if you if you're one of the people that actually listens or watches this show like as soon as we put it up, I apologize for this past week when mm. cuz I got that video posted I don't even, I don't even know it's actually public yet. <laughs> like I I got it posted today on YouTube. And I don't know if Brian has had time to actually get it, like finish, like polished and and put on. So we'll just we'll so. have we'll have like boom boom. We'll have like a double Do- release, yeah. double release with week. that big yep. fat week in the middle with nothing. Exactly. Yeah. Keep them on the edge of their seats. Yeah, I had I had some severe computer problems this week. Mm. Which, hey, if anybody out there in Tiger Box Land wants to get me a new laptop, that'd be great. Oh, you can donate at. Um, Dave's, Dave's house. house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'll work. Just bring, yeah, just bring, bring me here your cash. And you might as well operate the board while you're at it. Yeah, you can be part of the show or, you know, help the show or show. Yep. Up. Yeah. So Jason and I were talking about something a little bit earlier, uh-huh. and it, it, it got me thinking. It's something I wanted to do a little bit of research on, but like... But then you didn't? No, I haven't yet. Right. Because we were driving here. Mm. Uh, Like... Old tech companies that you don't hear from anymore, like like Apple. No, no, not like not them. Apple. No, <laughs> like all of the like all of the little companies Who? that just got bought <laughs> up over the years right. into these super companies. Okay, like um, like Singular or Bell South. Right. Or I was, I was asking whatever happened to Gateway. Gateway. Oh like yeah, the cow I, computers. I was remember? actually thinking about that about like six months ago. Like I haven't seen a Gateway Country Store in a long time. Uh, they all went out of business. Oh, yeah. And I don't know if they bankrupted or if someone just bought them and liquidated them. Like, I don't I don't know what I happened know. to them. Circuit but... City? Yep, yeah. Circuit City was another one. Is that, is that actually gone or they just take up gone. most of their stores? Apparently, Radio Shack is is. Yep, is they're on their way out. Yeah. Yep. I but mean, it's just because the, these, these older, I mean, these companies, a lot of them are either becoming obsolete mm-hmm. or becoming just valuable enough that another large company feels the need to just, let me just go ahead and buy that what well, sucks for radio Shack or, or about radio shack because when we were first starting this out i went to radio shack a lot <laughs> trying to get like different connectors and stuff to work for the boards to work and random so, components like, store. yeah mm-hmm. it was, and it was fantastic for it. you walk in like i need this thing i think uh i'm trying to do this and connect it to this and like i know what you want i yep. got you got it not a problem right over here 87 87 dollars no of course oh you check online and it's like five bucks <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's why but Radio Shack. Well, Radio Shack out. had it now. Yeah, yep. they did. And they had the and they had the person who told you yeah. what you needed. Mm-hmm. So what Radio Shack needed to become was just like a tech advisory thing. Like I, I think I need this thing. Like oh, you need one of these. Here's the link to Amazon. Yeah, mm-hmm. well there there are those companies that did kind of adapt like that. That instead of just keeping and doing what they were doing for so long, they found another like market hmm. and just shifted. Like what? Like uh, Netflix is a good one. That's true. Yeah, they also they they started off as a uh, mail order mail order DVDs, which I think they still do. I think they do, but but that is not it, what yeah, people. That's not what that. Netflix is anymore. Mm, yeah. And it's the same with um, Netflix and chill. We gotta wait like three days. <laughs> <laughs> I got things in the mail. I just ordered it. Yeah. Yeah. Iron Man One will be here any minute. <laughs> <laughs> but there's um, what was the other one I had? There's a Netflix. Um, we don't know. Oh, yeah. I lost. Anybody it. ever been it. to a Batteries Plus? Yes, I have. You have. Once? I have. Yeah. What's the plus? I get batteries. Okay. I mean, you can buy them anywhere. Um, but this is a store that specifically has batteries, I guess. Yeah, Batteries Plus. The plus stands for Batteries Plus. So it's Batteries Plus Batteries Plus, plus Batteries More Batteries Plus Batteries Plus. But I've also I've seen them. Where it's not just batteries plus, it's like batteries plus 
bulbs or something. Like I think there's some that also sell every kind of light bulb. <laughs> Are you? You're not jerking me. No, 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 right no. Now. Okay. Like there, there's <laughs> definitely some stores. Like most of them are batteries plus, but there's others where it's like batteries plus something else, and I think it's light bulbs. Uh, because that's one of those things. Like some light bulbs are hard to find. Like for particular things, so just like batteries. Because that's that's the deal. The thing about batteries plus is they have every battery. So if you're like a batteries plus franchise owner, can you just can you just like put a clause in there that you get to put the plus on <laughs> to be whatever you want? Batteries plus soap. Yeah, batteries probably. Yeah. Plus every uh, kind of soap. Yeah. Because that's that's the thing about batteries plus they have every kind of battery. So if you're gonna add something else, you better have every kind of whatever that is. Right. So if it's batteries plus ferrets, <laughs> you better have every kind of ferret. And like a lot of neat electrical <laughs> ferret devices. Yeah. I mean You gotta have your neat electrical ferret devices. Yes. Those are, <laughs> are very you unclear important. on what was being talked about. Yes, I was actually. <laughs> like uh like those uh like a motorized ball that you just put your ferret in and it just <laughs> runs them around the yard. All right. Okay. Yeah, uh, that's much clearer picture. Right. Or uh or a or, or a, a motorized ball that the ferret chases around the yard. Ah uh, that's not nearly as funny. Because <laughs> what your revenge you're gonna have with your motorized ball is a dead ferret and a motorized ball. <laughs> right. Right. No around. one wants that. Uh, no one no one sane wants that. I would yeah, all right, there. Yeah. <laughs> nice. I mean, all right. I mean, there's other things. You could um you could like design a ferret collar that like shoots electric <laughs> bolts out at people. Like create a guard shock collar. Yeah, a for guard ferret? ferret. Yeah. Like, would you carry this ferret around on your shoulder? Right. Why like, not? I, like, defensively, you just let that ferret loose, climbs yeah. off your arm, and starts tasing your enemy. I yeah. have this this image of okay. like you take the ferret off your shoulder and you hold it like a gun. And you're like, pow. <laughs> Fire I don't that know if that's the, bolt. I mean, that's the noise the ferret might make. <laughs> but yeah, that's exactly that, how it goes. There's probably more of a zap kind of sound or something with the. No, other no, person. no. It's <laughs> cow. So a ferret gun, a ferret taser gun. Yeah, yeah. Just throws like write that down. <laughs> I was picturing more like Beastmaster, where I just have like ferrets with. They did not have electric collars. No, but they should have. If I'd have written that Beastmaster. <laughs> There it it had been like James Bond meets Beastmaster. <laughs> He'd have had like a chariot with all kinds of like smoke bombs in the did back. You, did you write that down? Yeah, uh, it, ferret laser gun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's more of an electric gun, but what electricity gun? Yeah, it's not like amplified light. Crazy. No, it's, it's like lightning. It's like lightning. Ferret lightning gun. Ferret lightning gun. Yeah. All right, let's do that. Yeah. Just just draw a lightning bolt. <laughs> ferret. <laughs> Going. Zap, pacow. Yeah. So I don't know if you can see it in the video. I hope so, because uh, I frame it the way I do. But it's a talkie box shirt, and you can have a talkie box shirt for the low, low price of whatever it says on the website. What? Yeah. Yep. Whatever that That's price was. Awesome. Yeah. And it's super comfy. This is the uh, the tri blend, and so it's super soft. You don't feel it. Right. What are the three? It feels very soft. Uh, Cotton. It's actually it's probably uh, rayon. Um, polyester mm -hmm. and possibly spandex. Actually, one of those gives you superpowers, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. If if you if you get enough rayon, like on your body, yeah, I'm pretty sure you can warp. Oh, I think you can warp. <laughs> oh, I thought I thought it's a really I thought it was the <laughs> I thought it was the spandex, but is it the spandex? I thought it was the no, spandex. I'm pretty it sure. turns you into was the elongated man. I thought that was the reason that yeah. they all wore spandex. No, mm -hmm. that's to keep the super in. Oh. It's, it's an insulator. Spandex insulator is a super. super insulator. That's so that the if super... If they didn't wear that, they, their super would just be it would, out there. It would be creeping yeah. all over everybody in the subway. Yeah. You want to be sitting next to... I guess that's why so many coats are made out of spandex. What? <laughs> He's brought the show to a screeching halt. No, you yeah, have to explain yeah, what you're talking about now. Because it's a great insulator. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because it's an insulator. Right. Mm. Yeah. So coats. Coats are for insulation. Most of them are made of spandex? Yeah. Obviously, it's a great insulator. Okay. I'm sorry. 
No, he's not. <laughs> that fell, um, how do you say, flat. Is that how it fell? With, you say it like that. That's okay. It. You got it. <laughs> Did I, I nailed it on the first try? Yeah. All right. Good. I mean, I saw what you were going for. It was, but it was, it was more like you were making fun of us trying to have a good time, and you successfully destroyed our good time. Boom. Yeah. The, what you just said a second ago actually reminded me of something that happened at day job the other day, where we have this Hispanic cook named Juan, and this this girl was trying to ask him how to say window in Spanish. She said, "Cómo se dice window?" Ventana. Right. But yeah. she didn't say, "How do you say this in Spanish?" She said, "Cómo se dice window?" And so he's like. Window. window. It's like, no, Cole City said window. It's like, yeah, you got it. Window. <laughs> you got it the first time. <laughs> He's like, oh, you mean in Spanish? Yeah. And he yeah. just walked away. <laughs> well, it's important to remember the in Espanol part. Yeah. Because you could say anything after that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then he'd have to be like, I don't know Russian. <laughs> like, I don't know how to say it in Russian. Mm. Like, sorry. Russian would be a. Uh, Good language to learn, I think. You can These do days. that. You can do that on your phone. There's a, yep. a program I've been using to learn Portuguese called Duolingo. Yep. And it's awesome. I how's, know, how's the Portuguese? Uh, bueno? <laughs> Lay some on me. Uh, no. All right. <laughs> All right. Um, Way to go. If I've found that I'm, when it comes to, to, other, to other languages, I am so much better at reading them than I am at speaking them. Like and like, if I see it written down, I can tell you what it means. But actually trying to remember a sentence or anything like that is really hard for me to do. That makes sense. But eventually, maybe I'll get there. Like I'm only maybe ten percent through this this entire course, so I don't I don't know. I'd be very interested in hearing some Portuguese when you're done. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to actually speak this language that I'm learning. I've always been fascinated by. Other languages. I've wanted to learn so many. I just haven't. So much work to learn another language. Yeah, and and some of them are so similar. Like Portuguese is very close to Spanish, but it's not the same thing. And I assume it's the same thing with like Spanish to Italian. And there there are a lot of simil uh, similarities between the yeah. Romance languages. Like they're kind of built the same. Right. But then like, there you can if 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 a if a Portuguese person is Spanish person are speaking to each other there can be some real big miscommunications there i'm sure <clears throat> you know what i'd like to see no you don't because nope. that was a rhetorical question i would like to see a survivor that's like survivor immigrant <laughs> right where they take just a random americans just right. you know and like they pick out random countries that these Americans have no idea of the culture, the language, right. anything at all like that. They strip them down to just their bare necessities, and they're like, all right, make your way in the world. Like, we're just going to drop you off in I this random totally country, yeah. and we're going to see how well you can pull your shit together. Like and, and function, become a functioning <laughs> member of this society. Oh yeah, I can, I can totally see it. Like, take just some rando from the Midwest or something, strip them down to just shirt and pants, Drop. nothing else, and just put them in like Bosnia. <laughs> <laughs> right? Outstanding. Yes. Just some <laughs> some, <laughs> some semi-rural town in Bosnia. Right? Because then your production crew is not going to cost <laughs> you much either. Uh, yeah. And so, and just see what happens. Like that'd be awesome. Like urban, urban survivor, Absolutely. or rural, or whatever. Yeah, yeah, I'd totally watch that. And I think that the way you win is by literally surviving. Yeah. Right. Like yeah. if you die, try not to die. You're off the island, yep. so to speak. And that's something. Like I, I like it. I wrote it. I've never really watched Survivor, but I, I, the the times I did watch, I was like, this is crap. Like this is people who get to work together and survive as a unit. And if they do work together smartly, they'll be fine. I, but, you know, eventually they get kicked off the island or whatever. But, and I, I never liked that aspect of it, to be honest. I think, like, I when I first heard about the show, I assumed it was like, we're going to take this group of people and see if they can survive as a unit in this place. And just see what happens. And if they start getting close to death, we'll deal with it. But That's you know. more like you're naked and afraid kind of stuff. Did, they, did, did you... Ever watched that show, The Colony? You remember that show, The Colony? I, I, I've heard about it, I think, but I, I never watched it. 
Isn't that the one where they, they had him, like, usually in sort of an urban setting, and then they'd have, like, bandits come in sometimes and stuff? It was yeah. just one season, wasn't it? It was just one season, and but it was, it was like post-apocalyptic. Post -apocalyptic. Mm. And it was awful because it was overproduced. Really? It was, like, seriously overproduced. And, like, they basically, like, had a doctor and an engineer and, like, a security professional. And, like, they had these... So they had these plants in it. These, yeah. these key people that they brought in. Right. And then they, like, give them this warehouse as their sanctuary. And, like, the warehouse has all of these random bits of equipment and stuff that... Yeah, they, I mean, they, they definitely... They, they overused a lot of stuff. Like, it got to a point where... They built themselves a shower. They had the the tools, and they right. decided to build themselves a a, a hot shower. Hmm. Like weren't weren't able to grow crops and stuff. Like weren't focused on any of the actual like what would you be right. trying to do? No, they're like, what can we build? Yeah, it was it was more like a a modern Marvels meets post apocalyptic, mm. where they just tried to get together and engineer contraptions. Yeah. In the post apocalyptic. So it wasn't world. try to survive. It was just like see what you can make out of this. And shit. then like, every now and then they'd have bandit attacks, mm. but it was like super heavy scripted, extra safe right. bandit attacks where yep. well, no one's no one's, shot in no face. one's, no no one's, one's getting shot killed. In the face. Like, <laughs> just I'm so boring. I mean, if yeah. I'm a producer, and I am occasionally. <laughs> I would put plants. I would put plants into my into my group. Yeah. So that way I can really turn the level up. Oh yeah. And I can have these stuntmen plants or whatever that are in their group just get off like right in front like blood on their face. Well I was gonna I was gonna say like with one of those plants like a saboteur inside the, the core group. Mm. I mean anything like that to, to add like a level, but they just they didn't. It was overproduced, it was it just it I didn't. loved the concept, though. The idea of the show seemed like it'd be pretty cool if it yeah. was done right. Uh, but yeah, I would agree with you. It was, it was too overproduced. There was a lot of, like, just they they fed them stuff. Yeah, it didn't feel real. There yeah. was no realism to it at all. It wasn't so Survivor make, so much as like now post apocalyptic. Do a talkie box Survivor, and do it for reals. I'm not. I don't want to be on it. I just want to produce it. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. <coughs> Gross. Mm. Yeah, I didn't like that. Nope. Ah. So and sneezes are normally so satisfying. Right. <laughs> you know, we're just ah, yeah. what a great sneeze. Yeah. Feel good now, mm. unless it's like three or four in a row. Then after after that, it kind of hurts after a while. Yeah. Now I'm trying to figure a good place to have Talkie Box Survivor. All right, Talkie Box Survivor. Um. Bottom of a swimming pool. <laughs> That could be one scene. <laughs> I mean, what what would Talkie Box Survivor? What would the point be? Well, it could either be it would it'd be what we were talking about, like having you're putting people in a situation where they have to survive. Oh, you're Whereas, just saying like that idea that I just spit about surviving in a random country. Yeah, we're calling that Talkie Box Survivor. Right. Okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. If we produce it, that's how it is. All right. <laughs> I, I thought don't survive you, talkie box. That happens every week. I was Thank like, you. I, yeah, I was like, oh. you guys are very apt at it. <laughs> yeah, some kind of a theme where we just try and talk people to death. I mean, I guess we could call it something else. Be like, talkie box presents. Don't kill yourself. All right. Um. Uh, total immersion. Eh, maybe. Uh, we'll we'll brainstorm it later. Immersy box. <laughs> <laughs> um. But yeah, I don't know if I would want like a like a urban setting or like a forest setting or. I mean, I would suggest mm. because of our budget, mm -hmm. we just use your backyard. Mm. There's like some mountains and stuff out yep. there somewhere. I know like, there's some somewhere. trails back there. Yeah, there's some trails back there. Uh, eventually, there's a lake. And yeah, I mean, we can do it sounds that. primo. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I. If anybody I, comes near the house, just like put the gun on them. I haven't watched a lot of Survivor. I honestly can't say I've seen all episodes of any given season. Um, no. Now, your sister, uh, Miss Destiny. Uh, She's a big fan of the, the she, Big Brother. She loves that Big Brother yeah. on CBS, which is basically just like a bunch of randos in a house right. that all have this like sort of overproduced, stereotypical kind of like 
thing about them so that they can pull a demographic yeah. to the show. They're all characters. But then after about two weeks, three weeks of being in the house, like that kind of wears off. That kind of real wears person comes off, then the real people start to show up, which is when it actually gets interesting because yeah. you don't, you know, you akin yourself to these character designs to pick your favorites or whatever, but you don't really get a favorite. Until you know the people, right? Like, until they start acting like themselves, rather than like I'm the big gay cowboy. Or, like, <laughs> Is that one of the characters? Uh, I guarantee you, there's a there's that would a be of, Jason's character if he ever went out for the show. A, hey, I bet that guy got far. Yep, you'd get you'd get in, you'd get in. Mm -hmm. Hi, I'm Jason. The, I'm the big gay or, cowboy. You know, like I'm the emo black guy. <laughs> I don't. All right. What? You can't be an emo black guy, or I can't be an emo black guy. That's the one right there. Well, that's a shame because I'm did it. I'm doing it. Okay. Yep. It's gonna be an audio version <laughs> of Big Brother. That sounds like it's gonna get real racist real fast. Hey, they can do it on the Cleveland show. Yeah. Yeah, that got canceled. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not in it for the long run. Well, there you go. All right. <laughs> You're gonna so, invest. So yeah, the Big Brother. That's cool. We could do something like that where we just put a bunch of talkie box fans in a box <laughs> and just let them sweat it out. One big cardboard box. Yeah. Yep. Every now and then, when we come up with a good idea, we'll like come over the loudspeaker and be like, "Ah, we came up with a game for you guys to play." The loudspeakers were outside the box, just shouting into it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, we came up with a game for you guys to play. Bang, bang, bang. Wake up in there. There's plenty of oxygen. <laughs> <laughs> no, we didn't go Get grocery work. shopping for you. <laughs> yeah, you got to win this game if you want food. <laughs> Better hope everybody wins. Right? Somebody's not going to win. No. 90 days in a box. No food, no water. No. No oxygen. That's going to be a short. <laughs> <laughs> Why are your games so shitty? <laughs> All right. There's, because they should be. There's no fun in that. <laughs> All Why right. not? Because they're just you just it's like just watching cats die, or something. Why like, would you watch cats die? Because you're a sicko. You're yeah. a weird, sick person. Like the, they got to get out of it. It's I'm more saying, like Saw. No, I'm more like Saw. I give them opportunity. <laughs> All they got to do is cut their own arm off, and they get a great new perspective on life. You are just. Killing them in a box. <laughs> no food, no water, no air. For 90 days, I believe, <laughs> was the amount of time you took. Before we open it up, they can, they can escape themselves. I mean, it's They're going to have to escape <laughs> They're going to have to escape. Because you're torturing them, so escaping themselves is probably the only relief they're going to get. <laughs> yep. yep. They had to have done something wrong to get in Did that box. you like the way I turned that phrase? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> it wasn't that great. I just thought I'd point it out. Pat myself on the back. Yep. Good job, me. How did that feel? <laughs> it was cold. I got cold <laughs> hands. I'm not circulating you, properly. You reach that, that good part of your back that makes you feel like you know you did real good? Mm-hmm. I mean, it's important to get the right spot. Yeah, otherwise it just feels like you're, you know, patting yourself on the back. And we stopped again. <laughs> I'm committed to the scene, but I don't know where to go. <laughs> nope. All right. So um, now uh, that Justin has ruined more of my fun, um, yeah. other reality shows. Uh, let's see. There's there was, the did, we talked about Fear Factor coming back. Yeah. Yes, yes, we did. Yeah, that's actually why I was bringing this back up because oh, okay. I didn't. We didn't get to talk about quite enough because I want to talk about talkie box versions of reality <laughs> shows, which is what we're doing. Right. So right. like, the, so talkie box Fear Factor. Right, but we had already. We'd already discussed Fear Factor, so right. now I'm branching into other reality shows. Oh, uh, okay. Like your, your like man, Family Feud. Man versus Family Feud. <laughs> man, man versus, versus Ray family. Combs. Or Ray Combs versus The Wild. Who the hell's Ray Combs? Ray Combs was the guy from Family Feud that killed himself. Oh. The host. Well, I'm family pretty Feud. sure anybody's going to win against Ray Combs then. <laughs> Probably. Sorry. I brought up a guy that's dead yeah i didn't know his name yeah you didn't nope. you brought up family feud you know nothing about family feud i know well, it's currently days. hosted by steve harvey and before him there was like the dude that played uh al on 
Home uh, Improvement. Home Improvement, yeah. Before him was Louis Anderson. Yeah. And then before him, possibly Ray Combs. I don't know. Yep, I don't know. Very possibly Ray Combs. <laughs> and before him, oh, no, uh, some uh, other guy that used to touch all the ladies. Yeah. What, what's his name? Uh, John... Cusack. No, he was Hammond. in a he was in Stewart. a Seinfeld. He uh Stamos. Alexander. Hmm. He always talked like this. He like the very deep voiced forget you know who I'm talking about? I think I know who you're talking about. No yeah. idea what his name is. It's John something or another. No, that's not he, it. He he did Family Feud for a while as well. Okay. That guy. Sure. Elaine's boss on Seinfeld. Not helpful. To me. No. Well anybody who watched Seinfeld would know. With like the platinum hair, he had like yeah. platinum white hair, yeah, and like extra white guy kind of cut to him. Yep, going for that like I'm a rich white safari boss kind yeah. of thing. <laughs> Elaine, come in closely. Uh, I don't think I've seen it. No, you're good. Right. Now that we're all on completely different pages, right, right. Let's talk about um, Bear Grylls, huh? Okay. Would you? Uh, do you think he'd come on Talkie Box and... Absolutely. All Teach right. us how to survive. I don't, I don't know if he's actually doing anything else right now. Mm. Is he still doing Members of the Wild? Uh, no, I think that was a while ago. He does... I think he's done other stuff since then. Did that get canceled because he found out a lot of it was fake? I, I don't recall. I think they just ran out of budget. Like, ran out of places to go. Dangerous and... places to almost kill him. Yeah. We're gonna go back to the tundra. Like, oh. <laughs> Seen it. Are We're you gonna, gonna survive in a different way in the tundra? <laughs> Last time I built an igloo. This time I'm just gonna submerge myself in frozen tundra water. See how it works. I remember there was what well, Survivor Man was the other one around that time, right? Where it was a guy who brought his own cameras. Yeah, like, yep. there wasn't a camera crew like he did himself, and so there was a lot less of the the fakery. A lot less on. of the fakery, but also a lot less interest and intrigue. Um, to a point. I remember, I, the, I, I specifically remember one episode of Survivor Man where like he got like violently sick off of some stuff that he ate and didn't like, yeah. either he wasn't able to cook it or he, didn't cook it properly. I or thought something, it was he misidentified something. That could have been it too. Because like his specialty was like herbalist, botanist, like mm. he knew how to forage. Like, yeah. And that was how he was able to survive. My only issue with Survivor Man was that, like, his treks, because he was by himself mm. and he would carry all this equipment into the woods, his treks were not very long or very arduous because he would spend half the day setting up shots, like walking a trail and being like, oh, this is going to be a good trail for, a, for a walking a trail shot. Mm -hmm. Then he'd have to set up his cameras, go back... And like and walk, walk the, trail. the trail and then go and collect his cameras. Yeah. And like, so you've taken an hour just to walk that four minutes of trail. Yeah. yeah. You know, so, well, I mean, it doesn't make him any less arduous, but it's just arduous for no reason. Yeah. Except to get a good shot. Exactly. So, I mean, in that instance, I kind of think just bring a fucking cameraman. Like, yep. Right. I mean, he doesn't have to help you. Like unless you're dead or something. Like, <laughs> I think that was the idea. Me. Call the cops, <laughs> you asshole. I think that was the idea on Man vs. Wild is that they weren't supposed to assist him at all, or but they did. But they did. Yeah, yeah. And there was there was also bits about um, like they would kind of create scenarios for him to come across, mm. so he could demonstrate different like absolutely. Like all right, well let's kill a moose, and then we'll just put this moose right here. And then he'll show him how to carve up a moose. Yeah, I do remember seeing one shot where he was like, he was in Hawaii, I think, on in like some of the lava beds and stuff. And it was like he, I've seen the shots like over here, and he's doing all kinds of stuff. And someone else like recreated that shot and just panned to the left, and it's right next to a highway. Like, yeah, he's out there in the wild, being <laughs> being versus the wild. Cars going by. I mean, you know. The magic. Yeah. It's the magic. Oh, it's so magical. <laughs> See, you know, every time people come to the show, they're like, holy crap, your studio is actually just a bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> we had no idea. And, and to you guys, right, it looks like this beautiful, amazing studio. No, just a bathroom. <laughs> just a bathroom. You can't see the toilet. It's too close to you.
But yep. and the the fact that we can all get in here, yeah, and be this cozy together what says a lot about our friendship. We're looking at our set. I mean, it is a master bath. I mean, it's so. a big bathroom. <laughs> I mean, but still, like, I've seen closets bigger. Uh, but it gives off. Not in person. Mm. Not me. Oh, I was gonna say, how do you know? What closets I've seen? <laughs> you judging me? You saying you saying no? You ain't classy enough to been walking in no closets of this size. No, I'm saying I've never seen a closet this uh, size in person. That's fair. Yeah, you can speak for yourself. Yeah, that's what I did. All right, cool. What I'm about glad. You? I'm glad there, I now know how you would feel. Virtually everyone that's ever been on the show, uh, I've, has been, like walked in and seen the set. And they're like, I thought it was bigger. Like mm-hmm. no magic, no, it's not magic. It's magic. It's yeah. movie magic. Mm-hmm. Like they don't know exactly what's under this table right now. My legs. I mean, and your legs. theory. And his legs. Yeah. A dead hooker. Now who's ruining your fun? <laughs> Dave. Yeah. It looks like you're Dave's not supposed to have it. fun tonight. I'm not. No. no. <laughs> Nobody wants to play games with me. No. Just to just. Deadpan, flat, go fuck yourself. <laughs> That's all I'm getting. <laughs> hmm? What's hmm. that you're talking about? Boring things? I'd love to get on, on that. <laughs> Let's talk about them. All right. Go on. Go ahead. <laughs> so, um, oh, man, it was Father's Day recently. How yep. about that? It yep. was. Huh? What do you know about that? You guys have dads. Yeah, I know you do. you do. I called mine. Did you? Did. Yep. I gave mine a hug. Yeah. Well, I don't live near mine, so I wasn't able to do that. And he he kind of returned it. <laughs> it was yeah. it was sort of like a mm, this is happening. Like, you know, I had to come down and like give that the the half hug like mm-hmm. this is like a stabilizer mm-hmm. and then this one is full on hug. Right. And then he just kind of like uh gives the like the pat acceptance yeah. of the hug. Your dad, I've met him once, maybe twice now. He doesn't seem like a big, like, affectionate guy. No. Sometimes when he's real saucy, <laughs> uh, he gets pretty affectionate. But generally, he would just rather be left alone. Yeah. Seems more like an acknowledger. Like, Dad, I love you. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Good. That's the way it should be. All right. <laughs> moving on. I mean, that's fair. And your your dad... More affectionate. Yeah. 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 He's a, he's a big old goofball too. He really now, is. Now, did you did you get dad anything? No. Nope. Did you get mom anything on Mother's Day? Nope. No. Did you call mom on Mother's Day? Yeah. So and you, her you, birthday, which was in July. So you you or gave in June, rather, you gave like mom and dad the exact same gift. Yeah. For Mother's Day. I don't want to. I don't want to like P- pick favorites. Make one of them think that they're better than the other one. Right. Nah, that would be rude. <laughs> that would be very rude. So don't pick a clear favorite right now right. on the air. Did, <laughs> Okay. So, so you, uh, I know you talked to your pops yesterday. You were working on Sunday all I day. I did, yeah. The day got away from me. Uh, I did talk to him a little bit yesterday. How's he, doesn't he recently started watching the show? I've heard he uh, might have recently he, started watching the show. Apparently he asked Destiny how he can find the show. Hey, Mr. Dad. Bill, thanks for watching the show. I and hope you're if watching. if you're not watching the show, watch the fucking show. What's wrong? It's your <laughs> son. Jesus. Where? Um, uh, Justin. Yeah, Justin. Yes. <laughs> yes. I was thinking of Jesus. Uh, also, Paula, uh, if you're watching with Mr. Bill, hey, hey I miss Paula. you guys. I hope sorry for a... all the profanity. Yeah, they, they went. Yeah, to... kind of sorry. <laughs> they, they went to uh, Paula's uh, high school reunion hmm. just these the last few days ago. Yeah. yeah apparently, uh, these guys were just moving and shaking. Have you had your 10 year reunion? No, my 10-year reunion is in October. So it's this year? Yep. Okay. October, 10-year reunion. Yeah. Yeah. My, I haven't decided if I'm going is, yet or not. Is this year. Mine's, my 20th is coming up in uh, 2020. Yep. So Mine's coming up in like a few months. Yeah. Are you going to go? I might. I got added to the Facebook group. Right. It doesn't seem like there's a bunch of us left, though. There weren't a whole lot of us to begin with. Right. Uh, I mean, not, you know, way more than... Your your high school. Yeah, but there was thir- 31 people in my graduating class. Yeah, that's ridiculous. Oh, yeah, I thought yeah. mine was small. Mine was that's just like, like over a little over 200, I think. No, that's 31. Like a, that's like a number from the 1800s. <laughs> like, it's, oh, I hope polio doesn't kill any more of my graduating <laughs> class. 
Yeah. Now, granted, I went to a small school in a small town. Like the there was there was the high school in my town, which had their like graduating class around two thousand was probably like your maybe around two hundred or so. Oh. Uh, whereas I went to the the magnet school and it was oh. a special just school, a whatever, small but... town, Dave. Yeah. What about you? What was your graduating class? How many? How many? Well, he said about well, around two yeah, hundred. Yeah, around two hundred. Two hundred. So. Yeah. Were, were you in Florida? Mm-hmm. No. Yeah. Oh yeah, because you was you was you was eighteen when I met you, weren't you? Yes, I was. All right. Yep, that's true. So that was that was what right after you had graduated in Florida and then moved up. Mm-hmm. Just after the summer, I started at the um, at the old job spot. Now, are you going to go to your reunion? I haven't decided yet. I oh, think you'd I have might. to travel for that. Like I would have to travel. Of... I'd probably have to take some days Where's off. Sarasota? No, uh, no, Keystone Heights. Okay. It's, no idea uh, where that is. Yeah, it's a little ways outside of Gainesville and uh, okay. Jacksonville and Ocala, okay. kind of like the north central area. None of those places are next to each other. No, I know. That's They're what all in like North Florida. It's 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 yeah. like... In mm. within all of those, okay, like you take all those and you make yourself a nice little area map. Yeah, it's it's somewhere it's in, in that area. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah. I went I went to my ten year reunion. Uh, it was kind of boring. Yeah, why is that? I just was. Because there were like, only thirty of those. <laughs> like, See, I only feel like five people like, showed up. We, we went like there was one girl. Her her uncle I think had like a little little lake house, and by lake I mean it was like a pond. Um, so we went there, we had dinner there, like some, some place around there catered or something. And then we all just hung out and talked and that was Sonny's the extent of it. That was it. We didn't have a Sonny's. Now see, I feel like, <laughs> I feel like with the, with the high school reunion these days, it, it almost seems pointless unless mm. you purposefully want to just go and catch up with someone that you literally have not made time for on Facebook. <laughs> Because I feel like there's not really anything to catch up on if if people are organizing their high school reunions on Facebook, mm-hmm. that means they all have access to keep up with these people on yeah. Facebook. I mean, that's keeping up on Facebook, but that's not like seeing them and, and really experiencing their their lives long. You know. it, yeah, it's not. I mean, which I'm, is but which you is see a, what, what's going on. A big on. part of what what we did because like a lot of us like really spread out because yeah. we came from a small town and, and nobody some, wants to some stay. Of them stayed. Some really? of them stayed. Yeah, actually, about half of them did actually. Um, but those of us who didn't, you know, some of us went to like California and, you know, New York and like all over the place. So, and I, I stayed in Georgia, but still got out of town, got out of town. And it was nice to see some of the people that, that I got along with, you know, I was very close friends with in high school. We kind of fell, fell off, uh, after graduation, but like, it was nice to get to see him again. It was really cool. Yeah. But then there's also the people who there were like, uh, there's a reason I haven't made time to talk to you. So, unless you're watching, then hey, it was great seeing you. Mm-hmm. Um, you know who you are. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. But and well, and there's some I, I would me, like to he? see them more often. But you know, they we don't live anywhere near each other. No, nope. so. legitimately, I mean, out of the, I don't know, I don't know how many, uh, three, four hundred people in my graduating class, I would say I probably only knew, you know, thirty or forty of them real well. Mm-hmm. And I probably only respected about five or ten. So like, yeah. that was one of the one of the cool things I think about having such a small class as I did is that we we were all friends. Like we all knew each other. Like there there would be some some dividing times and stuff where some people were like oh, I really don't like this person. But for the most part, everybody was cool with each other. We all got along. We all had to deal with the same. Like we were all. It wasn't. It wasn't really like we had you know, separate classes from each other. Everybody took the same classes. It was that small of a group that, like, you're all in the same classes all the time. So, yeah, my I mean, school, we, all, we yeah. all know each other pretty well, and, and you know. My high school now is dynamic. probably about three times the size that really? it was when I graduated. Now they're a, a 5A school. I think that's the most A's that you can have. In a high school, that's a lot of A's. It is. I guess that means that you're passing. I have no idea what that means. It's like the whole one A to five A. I'm yeah, not a clue either. what that is. I don't know if it's for for curriculum or if it's for athletics. Like what the the A's? Uh, I always thought one A was supposed to be the really good one, right? Or is it not? No, no. One no? A is like a it's a population thing, is what mm-hmm. it's it is. But it starts at single A and it works its way all the way up to. 
Why do they have to just go with A's? Why couldn't they make other letters involved? I I honestly no one wants to be a C school. No, I'm guessing not. Yeah, like A's are just associated with school and doing well. Maybe they didn't. They couldn't be like tier one or like tier four. No, sir. Go with just all the A's. A's. Mm -hmm. A double A triple A quadruple A. Make it easy for people to read. Cinquintal. Quintuple. (laughs) Whatever. I don't know. I'm debating on whether I'm going to go to my 20 year reunion. Yeah, you think it's going to be any like more exciting? No. Mm -mm. (laughs) It's going to be back at that same lady's house. (laughs) Probably. Except this time, this shit's going to be like burnt down from all the swamp fires and stuff. And maybe there's going to be like a ghost. And it's, our it's, our school didn't even exist anymore. Like it's it got shut down. It got shut down right before our ten year reunion. Actually, like a year before. So, what did it get shut down for, Dave? Uh, did, didn't have the funding anymore. Wow. Well, I could actually write some kind of a spooky murder mystery about your twentieth high school reunion in the swamp. The swamp is an eerie enough place <laughs> as it is. Like. Yeah. And then you go like, oh, it's the 20th year high school reunion out of a graduating class of 35. <laughs> like, that just sounds sketchy yeah. to me. Yep. Uh, you're gonna get we there. get there and realize like three people aren't there and they were definitely going to be here. Like, yep. what happened? Mm-hmm. Is this their RSVP lying in the mud? <laughs> certainly one of those swamp guys is a serial killer, except it's not the obvious swamp guy. It's actually the hot chick. That's yeah. how I Shyamalan you at the end. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you make it a terrible movie. That's how I got make it a terrible movie. Yeah. All right. So when are when are you putting pen to paper on this? I just did it. All right. Perfect. Yeah, well, you already gave uh, away the spo- spoilers. Everybody, it was a hot girl. Yep. But you'll still watch. <laughs> <laughs> you'll still watch it. Or just listen. Why not? Mm-hmm. You know, I could tell you more stories. Y'all want to know more stories? Probably not. <laughs> All right. Hit me with one. All right. Um. You know that guy, Roger. Yeah. The Australian fella. You yeah, him. him. Yep. Um, besides the fact that we made him up, right? Yep. Uh, I, found out, aside. I found out mm-hmm. that Carlos, who we also made up, uh-huh. went and saved Roger from those pirates. Really? And I think they were in Borneo. Borneo? Is it Borneo? Borneo. Yeah. Borneo. Borneo. I, I did the effeminate. <laughs> Uh, which is like a sister island to Borneo. Borneo. Where's Borneo? Borneo. Uh, Borneo is definitely a Philippines island. It's in the Philippines. Is it? It's near the Philippines. Really? Yes. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. I don't think. I honestly don't know. <laughs> it's not in the Caribbean. I don't think. <laughs> I'm gonna say it's Philippines. Justin, what you got? Huh? Borneo is the third largest island in the world and the largest in Asia. South East Asia. Near the Philippines. Mm. Near Indonesia. Yeah. Where's Philippines at? Isn't east, that the same place? There. It's all that same place, man. It's a bunch of, ar- uh, what's that, archipelagos? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, archipelagos. Yeah, what's it? What's it called? No, you got it. Good. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's... yeah. They're in there. <laughs> <laughs> Nailed it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Good for you. Good for you. So yeah, awesome. <laughs> Borneo. So they're safe. Good. And they're that's awesome. In Borneo. That's what they're doing. Ah, uh, I think that they have run out of money, or they just never had any money. Yeah, we didn't pay them. Yeah, there was never no. any money. Yeah, I don't think I don't know how Carlos even got out there. Uh, Hitching. Yeah, no, we weren't paying him shit. Yeah, he probably used the ice More bridge. Money. Yeah, during the winter, he probably used that the Canadian Russian. Yeah, ice, ice bridge. bridge. Mm-hmm. Got on with one of those ice road truckers. You you've seen the show? Yeah. Uh, yeah. You haven't seen seen the the show? show? Nope. Well, let me explain it to you. All right. I think I got it. All right. Now, there's these people, right? Uh Uh-huh. And they drive trucks. Yeah. For a living. Are they called truckers? Some of them. Okay. You know, I'm not going to just pigeonhole them. Anyway, uh, there's these people that are driving trucks, right? Uh Yeah. The terrain Uh is treacherous. Mm. Why? Because 
it's all iced over. Oh. And on ice, you don't get the same kind of uh, grip. There's mm-hmm. not traction. there's not friction. There's not traction there. Right. You're just slipping and sliding all over the place. You right. got this big heavy load. And not like the yeah. fun summer activity slipping and sliding. Yeah. No. Like a slide, More like slide, the winter slide. fun kind of activity. <laughs> where where there's just no fun at all. Right. <laughs> <laughs> You're just yep. just a really long story about no fun at all. Yeah. Right. And so that's pretty much what Ice Road Truckers is. <laughs> it's a no really, fun at all. really long story about no fun at all. All right. And sometimes, like, a truck falls off a bridge or something, and, like, helicopters got to come yeah. Yeah. pull the nuclear material out of the river. Now, there there have been those shows that have been out for a while now that they basically will take any sort of profession right. and build a reality show. Yeah, like Deadliest Catch. Deadliest Catch, I think that was the first one that did it. Also, like, one of the most popular. Uh, right. Maybe not the first, but it's one of the most popular ones for I sure. I watched it for a while. It was an, I felt it was a really interesting show. Yeah, I mean, I think that right there is something really interesting. But then you also have, like, things like Storage Wars, where you're following yeah. around people who just bid on storage, storage units. units. Yeah. And then it becomes character development pieces where they don't even, you're not, you don't care about, I mean, you there's some people that they like build you. the excitement around like what's going to be in this storage unit $4,000 $8,000 and they just go back and forth and the they're about to open it up and commercial and then they bring it back dun dun but there's those dun dun I don't know if y'all saw any but there's, but there's never those, shit in those storage there's units there's those special like they basically just like with the big brother and everything mm-hmm. they're like this is your signature yeah, so they, you're the characters going, of the, yeah, the show you're yeah you're going to exude this image so that people will attach themselves to you. Right. So, you know, so they, they all make this character up. And, like, there's the one guy that has the special yell or whatever when he's yeah. bidding. And... <laughs> And, and he, he's kind of the asshole of the, of the whole yeah. thing. And there's the couple. Well, if you're known for a yell, I feel like you've got and the couple be that's a always an fighting. So yep. you're actually watching just to see what stupid shit they're right. gonna fight about next. Like and I told you that coffee table wasn't worth a hundred dollars. <laughs> like I'm gonna keep it. I like the coffee table. <laughs> like you go keep it outside. And then all these people apparently, it, all but one of them have like <laughs> pawn shops or antique stores or something. They sell this shit in. That they right. I mean, you'd have to have some outlet because you are collecting a lot right. of garbage. But then there's the one guy on that show who's just this rich guy, and he's just looking for crazy ass shit. And he's like, and he just likes to mess with the other people. Oh who yeah, are like dependent on this. Yeah, like they lose and they're all like butthurt about it. He loses, like <laughs> set it on fire. Out, let's go, <laughs> <laughs> set it all on fire. Yeah, I own this storage unit. <laughs> it's mine. It's all mine. Yeah. And then there's the uh, the pickers, the 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 History Channel, yeah. the American pickers uh-huh. or whatever. That's like the teddy bear and then the skinny guy, <laughs> and maybe yeah. they're a couple, maybe they're not. Right. Yeah, but uh, and they got the hot girl that works for him, and she stays back at the shop. Well, most she's of the time. like she's like goth hot, so she kind of reminds me of like the kind of person if I were a stereotyping kind of person. Right. She reminds me of the kind of person that might hang out with a skinny, neat guy <laughs> and a bear sort of fellow, <laughs> and be like their go-to girlfriend. Yeah. I mean, not that there's a specific dynamic that I'm talking about, <laughs> but I think that you guys understand right. what I'm saying. Uh, so I think that's the dynamic, mm-hmm. and it works. It works very well, and I actually like that show. I love watching them dig through all these old rednecks' garbage. Yeah, like, yep. I've got those parents. Like, <laughs> I dig through that same garbage. Right. Like, find do, any do gems? Your parents have like like some abandoned barn with just a bunch of shit in it. Ah uh, well, there our basement yeah. is just like full of basically estates from you know their parents and their yeah. parents' parents, and so we've got all these like random knickknacks, and like I'll look on them and be like, oh, this is from 1952, like that's probably worth something, yeah. But you know, it just sits in a basement, like. <laughs> Just sitting there. My yeah. parents don't even go down there because the stairs are too hard. <laughs> like so, it's there not like there's anything down there Those they want to find. Are steep. Yeah, like there's there's all kinds of just crazy stuff. Art supplies. I organized a whole bunch of art supplies. Okay. 
cool. Our- yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I got an art supplies. And you got art supplies. Got it. Perfect. Well, I mean, you guys, feel free to talk about your own basement. I know uh, Dave likes to keep his trim. <laughs> what about you? I'm not sure how he knows that. How do you how do you uh how do you take care of your basement? He doesn't. All right. <laughs> uh let's see. You know, other, you're downstairs. Other reality shows. I um, live downstairs. Then how do you take care of it? Answer the question. I don't have a basement. Mm. All right. All right. <laughs> So, um, other reality shows. Let's see. I know I've, uh, I know I've pretty much milked this. Remember goat. when, remember when no. MTV started making all those like reality shows about like finding love and shit. Like the the celebrities that were finding love. Like there was the, the flavor uh, of love, flavor of love, uh, Tequila Tequila, the guy from Poison. Uh, yeah, did yeah, they no. do Bachelor and Bachelorette? Essentially. I heard one of those got canceled recently. It was, it was, it was Rock of Love, Flavor of Love. Yeah. Uh, another uh, Shot at Love was uh, Teal Tequila. Yeah, Shot at Love. Um, yeah. Then you also had like those really, really terrible ones like Next. You remember that one? Where it was the like, one with the bus? Yeah, it was the one with the yeah. bus where it's like all the different douches saying like the douchiest things into the camera. And just douching it up. Yep, and then just like a skanky girl saying skanky stuff into the camera, <laughs> and then them going on like hot tub dates. Right. With and all of the them. Date my mom. <laughs> I never you, saw that no? one. No. Date my mom. Yeah, it was. So there'd be a guy, and and he's gonna pick a girl based on going out on going on a date with the girl's moms. So it'd be like three moms that show up. They're all trying to sell their daughter to this guy. <laughs> Essentially, and then he picks one of them based on what he knows about the girl that he learned from his mom, from her mom, and how he feels about her mom. Yep. And like, and so there's always like the reveal, like, okay, I picked this mom. It's like, yay! It's like, here's the girls you didn't pick, and it'll like show the girl. He's like, damn, she's hot. And here's all these interesting facts about her. Like, oh man, I'm really into those things. And like, here's the next girl. Oh, she's hotter and more interesting. And it shows the third girl. And like, I fucked up. Like, I should have picked one of the better girls. Uh, Sorry, Damn. sorry, Linda. Yeah, I'm gonna just sorry, keep Kathy. dating your mom <laughs> if that's okay. Now, now that you know we've met, I feel like I've got a greater kinship with your mom. Yeah. I always wonder about like the shows that don't actually get aired, like the episodes that they don't air because like weird shit goes on. Like mm-hmm. maybe the mom was like, "You should definitely date my 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 daughter," and to you know exemplify that point, I'm gonna give you a blowjob. And they're like, oh, yep. we can't put well, that on no, the air, but no, keep going. I mean, we'll, yeah. you know. <laughs> we'll, sell, we'll sell this somewhere. <laughs> but see, like, Indonesia. There, there, there are some shows out there, or there were some shows out there that, like, took it to a whole nother level of just, like, terrible. Like, you remember the show Wife Swap? Yeah. Wife Swap. You remember that show? Yeah, not nearly as sexy as they make it sound like. No, it's no, it's, it's terrible. <laughs> it's a terrible show. It's, it's more just about, like, it should be called Mom Swap. Yeah. I think that would give it the tone of yeah. the piece a little bit more clearly. There's still one episode that keeps popping up on like Facebook and stuff all the time and it's basically on, on the the child who's dealing with this woman who's like imposing rules on him and he is not having it and he decides to run he's like not nah, 7 and he decides to run away because he wants his like pizza rolls or something and she's like those aren't healthy and you're not going to have them. He's like screw this, I'm leaving. And he like packs up this tiny suitcase and walks down the street. <laughs> That's excellent. That sounds like me. And I see it pop up. Like, like, you're going to be gone in two weeks. Give me my damn pizza rolls. <laughs> like, you think I can't set this house on fire while you're asleep? <laughs> you are sadly mistaken. Yeah. But you know, I know the, the studio's got insurance the on The seven-year-old's this. talking like that to you. You better be prepared for a good son for Macaulay Culkin. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, you, know, you better hope you have an Elijah Wood we, we lying around be, somewhere. In a this, cliff. <laughs> we need to talk about Kevin. I don't know if y'all have seen that movie. Oh, it's, great movie. It's also a reference piece. Yep. Because I just referenced it. Yes, you did. Peace. I haven't seen it. I did start watching the, the, the second season of Sense8 recently. I haven't started watching that yet. No, no. need to. I, I did watch the... Um, their episode one of, of season two was the, the holiday special. Christmas yeah. movie. I cried three different times watching that episode. Like, mm-hmm. that was, that's an emotional-ass show. Yeah. It is. Like, it's, it's very emotional. Super emotional. 
It's it's solid though. I I, I like the way they executed it. Oh yeah, it's fantastic. Some of their cinematography I find a little long winded. There are some scenes that go on for just a little bit longer than they should, and I get it. It's to build that yeah. level of emotion. Uh, but you know, like four to five minutes of like Enya with the the hot. Uh, <laughs> Chinese lady like doing Tai Chi mm -hmm. I get it yeah like she's communing like she's she's free again not to spoil it too <laughs> but, but uh there, there's there's another show that we that I started watching I mean I've been forcing Jason to watch a little bit that also gets a little long-winded from time to time and that uh, Angie Tribeca have you watched that show I've I've caught a couple of clips uh, I haven't actually watched the show but it's it's like that level of of just purposefully terrible mm -hmm. that you can't help but laugh at it. I mean, I can't help but laugh at it. It's <laughs> it's absurd, and it, and they they beat the shit out of some jokes. Yeah. It is running gag, horrific. <laughs> yeah, like or better, horrific. Yeah, there's it's basically eighty percent of the jokes oh, that have any merit in the show are just because they're running gags. Yeah, they weren't funny the first time. But come episode five, they start to have to get creative with it. <laughs> and so it eventually starts to get a little bit funny. But yeah. still, I don't know if you're familiar with the police files, but that's what Leslie Nielsen started. Oh, police squad. Police squad. Yeah. My bad. Yeah. Police squad. That's what Leslie Airplane. Nielsen. Airplane. Yeah. I think it has some similarities to yeah. that. Naked Gun. Mm -hmm. Naked yeah. Gun. Two. Naked Gun based on police squad. Uh, yeah. Naked Gun 2.0 OJ. <laughs> <laughs> um and and so basically that style of of pun right. writing and that style of kind of like in your face sort of slapsticky kind of comedy mm -hmm. where it's like the joke is just hitting you square in the face <laughs> you don't have to find it no yeah. no it's they're there. they it's are right they're swinging it at you mm, yeah. you know like a normal conversation in the foreground while like two shirtless men have a slap fight in the background you know yeah that that you know like you're not paying attention to their normal conversation you're watching right. the slap fight in the background cuz or like when there's a conversation happening between two actors and then you notice while you're watching it while they're doing the back and forth between the two of them they're switching out black actors for one of the characters <laughs> mm -hmm. Apparently that happens in the show. Yeah, it did. Okay, I'll check it out sometime. It's 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 interesting. It's interesting. Steve Carell, I think, produces. Yeah, it. there there are some funny bits in it. Mm. It has its moments for yeah, sure. It has its moments. That's really all. That's the best I got. Well, it's good that you're done with that because we're done with the show. Aww. Yeah, it's, it's Dave. the hour. But Today. I was going to talk about the Bachelor or Bachelorette. One of them got canceled, and why? Because people don't know how to act right. <laughs> so, so well, go ahead. Tell people, me how people don't know how to act. Right. You know, they go to like the Pleasure Island or whatever. The, uh -huh. All these different fornication shows where it's like, go be as sexy as possible, yeah. but don't actually do anything debaucherous. Oh, someone had some sex. And then, well, I mean, they always have sex, but I think like somebody might have pushed the envelope. Maybe gimp suit. Uh, I don't know. It's I'm just speculating at this point. <laughs> um, so this could all just be bullshit. It could, but I'm saying it. Yeah. So, so it's probably bullshit. That's your indicator right there yeah. that it could all be bullshit. Yeah, anyway, I, I just want to let everybody know thank you so much yeah. for watching and subscribing. Well, hold on. We're going to do Today I Learned. Oh. Today I Learned that we have probably seen way too much reality TV. Yeah, that's... Or at least know enough about it. Yeah. There's enough on t TV. So, uh, what'd you learn? <sighs> uh, I learned that, that Dave came from a very, very small town, much I smaller did. than I thought yep. he ever came from, and that his 20 year reunion is likely going to be a horror story. <laughs> Jason? Uh, let's see. I learned how to love. Today? Awesome. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. That's good. All right. Yeah. It's a good thing to have. Yeah. I'm a real boy. Okay. 
Right. You got no strings. So what were you going to say? I'm sorry. I did interrupt you. What, what were you going to say? Oh, I, I have about absolutely... subscribing and stuff. I have absolutely no idea what I was going to say. That's fine. Something about subscribing, mm -hmm. possibly liking and following, and thanking all of our listeners um, from the very deepest wretches of my heart. All of them? Each and every one of them. Yep. Even the ones that have yet to realize they're listeners. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Or... Buy a T-shirt. Yeah, go go check out the website at talkingbox.net, and you can find all our merchandise there, including a T-shirt not unlike this one. Um, they come in different colors. Yeah, you don't mm -hmm. have to get red. Maybe get red's a, not your color. You can get a coffee mug. Yeah, right. Yep. You can get stickers, and then you can put those stickers on anything. Just anything, anything that is stick absorbent. And so yep. then you could have like a talkie box laptop. You and could. And you could have a talkie box briefcase. That's and you true. could have a talkie box refrigerator. You yes. a talkie box wife. You could have two talkie box wives if you live in Utah. <laughs> All right, good night oh, everybody. Have a great night. <laughs> good night. <laughs>